Amazon Junior Software Developer Professional Certificate. This is a relatively new addition to Coursera, a seven course series from Amazon. I don't think I've ever reviewed courses by Amazon, and this one really sparked my interest. So I decided to share it with you. Is it worth your time? Let's find out. My name is Daniel, and today I've got an Amazon Junior Software Developer Professional Certificate review for you. So things I'm going to cover in this review are course overview, structure and content, pricing and certification, and career opportunities. And I'll let you know what I personally think about this course series. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some nice discounts there. Let's get into it. Overview. So guys, Coursera has put together this awesome series of courses aimed at getting you job ready as a junior software developer. The whole program takes about three months to finish, though some people breeze through it faster depending on how much time they can dedicate. The cool thing about this program is how practical it is. Throughout each course, you'll be working on projects that mirror real-world software development scenarios. This isn't just about theory. You'll be building stuff that shows employers you know what you're doing. By the end, you'll tackle a capstone project where you solve a fictional software problem from start to finish. So what will you actually learn? The program covers all the essentials of software development. You'll start by understanding the different roles in development teams and get familiar with the software development lifecycle. Then you'll dive into Java programming, learning how to work with different data types and control program flow. The object-oriented principles will become second nature to you as you progress through the material. One of the most valuable parts is when you get into data structures and algorithms. This is what separates the amateurs from the pros in the coding world. You learn how to make your programs efficient and high performing. And don't worry, they'll also teach you full stack web development so you can build dynamic web applications using Java technologies. So that being said, who's this for? Pretty much anyone looking to get into software development. Maybe you're hoping to start a new career in tech, or perhaps you're already working in the field, but want to fill in some knowledge gaps. Either way, this certificate has you covered. Don't stress if you don't have coding experience yet. While it helps to know some basics, it's not required. All you really need is a willingness to learn and some basic understanding of programming concepts. The biggest advantage of this program is the practical skills you'll pick up exactly what you need for entry-level developer positions. Plus, you'll get a recognized certification that makes your resume stand out. Learning from experienced professionals who can guide you through hands-on exercises is pretty much the best way to prepare for a real software development job. Speaking of learning to code, you know what's been a game-changer for me personally? Brilliant. I discovered it when I was struggling with some programming concepts, and it completely changed how I approach learning software development. What I love about Brilliant is that it doesn't just throw information at you like most tutorials. Instead, you're actually solving interactive problems that help you understand the core concepts. I found myself having those aha moments way more often than with YouTube tutorials or textbooks. Their programming courses are especially awesome if you're just getting started. They break down complex ideas into bite-sized challenges that you can work through during your lunch break or even while waiting for the bus. And it's not just memorizing syntax. You're actually learning to think like a programmer. The coolest part for me was seeing how much better I got at problem solving in general. The skills I picked up from Brilliant's daily challenges have helped me tackle coding problems at work that used to completely stump me. Want to give it a try? Just go to brilliant.org slash Daniel or scan the QR code on your screen. You'll get a 30-day free trial and 20% off a yearly premium subscription. The link's also in the description. Big thanks to Brilliant for supporting the channel. Now let's get back to the video. Structure and content. Guys, before we move on, I try to make my content fun instead of boring. And in return, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you enjoy the content I make. Alright folks, so like I said, this professional certificate is made up of 7 courses. Each of them takes from 17 to 42 hours to complete, which is a lot. That's why each course is broken down into bite-sized modules. And here are the courses I'm talking about. Introduction to Software Development, Programming with Java, Data Structures and Algorithms, Database Management with Java and SQL, Full Stack Web Development, Generative AI in Software Development, application development. And as I mentioned before, this course includes a really cool hands-on project at the end that ties everything together. After learning all the technical skills throughout the program, you'll tackle this project where you get to solve a fictional but realistic software development problem. This project focuses on building a complete desktop application from scratch. This isn't just a simple exercise. You'll develop a full-featured software program 
that handles data and provides a user-friendly graphical interface. The project puts you in a realistic scenario where you need to create an application that can store, process and display information effectively. You'll work on developing both the back-end data handling systems and the front and GUI that users will interact with. This means coding the logic that processes information behind the scenes, as well as designing intuitive screens and controls that make the application easy to use. The project is designed to mirror real-world software development challenges that junior developers typically face in their first roles. You'll need to plan your approach, write clean and efficient code, test your application thoroughly, and troubleshoot any issues that arise, just like you would in an actual development job. What makes this project especially valuable is that it becomes a concrete example of your abilities. When you finish the course, you'll have this desktop application as a tangible demonstration of your software development skills that you can show to potential employers during your job search. It proves you can apply your knowledge to create something functional and practical. Pricing and certification. All right, let's answer the big question. How much does this course cost? Well, folks, it's not free. And honestly, offering it for free would be kind of strange. To sign up, you will need a Coursera subscription. The good news is that it's part of Coursera Plus. So when you pay for this certification, you also get access to many other courses for free. And I totally understand. Months of subscription sounds like a lot, but based on some feedback I've seen, some people finish it much faster. Plus, it's definitely more affordable compared to the cost of a college degree. Career opportunities. You know, guys, people often ask, will this really land me a job? Well, the short answer is, it sure can. This learning program is crafted to arm you with all the skills you need for an entry-level job. That's why it throws in hands-on projects with real-world tasks. It's all about prepping you for the job market. But let's keep it real, folks. Is it a golden ticket to a guaranteed career opportunity? No, I don't think so. You might want to keep honing those skills and polishing up for interviews to get the job of your dreams. Long story short, your success in job hunting is mostly about your own effort with skills you have and not online certification. Is the Amazon Junior Software Developer Professional Certificate worth it? All right, now let's wrap things up and answer the big question. Is the Amazon Junior Software Developer Professional Certificate worth it? In my opinion, this program is definitely a solid option for anyone looking to break into software development. It's practical, hands-on, and covers the essential skills you'll need to get started as a junior developer. The fact that you're working on real-world projects and building a portfolio that you can show to potential employers makes it all the more valuable. So, is it worth your time? Absolutely, especially if you're looking to get started in the tech world. Just keep in mind that it's not a magic ticket to a job, but it's a great stepping stone. What do you think? Have you considered taking this course or something similar? Let me know in the comments below. Feel free to check out the course-related links in the description below. You might find some discounts there. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, until next time.